Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay, where our character likes to die from her own Molotovs. Yes, we've probably, you know, probably about three to four of our characters have killed themselves with their own Molotov explosions. And a couple of them were the permadeath people, and Jesus Christ was that disappointing then. Anywho, today is relatively similar, as in we have just killed ourselves with the Molotov yesterday. Okay, well, it happens. Eh, sometimes one shoots themselves in the foot, sometimes one lights themselves on fire. It's all in the same category. It does set up a new little bit of a mission for us, though, which is that we need to find a bed. And I do not recall there ever being one in the combat zone, but there might be some owned beds, and there might be some degenerates who I don't feel too bad about killing to get a bed, but in reality, this isn't that far. I mean, we've hardly moved, and really we want something like around here, if we could. So these degenerates get to live for now, and we will continue on. Now I know for a fact that the DB Technical School, there is beds. That's a hard word, DB Technical School. I don't know why the game doesn't like to use my bullet exploding effects until after I've begun to fire the gun, but you know what? We all have our own things game. Today, that's yours. Yesterday was yours as well. I think the day prior, too. Ah, dog! Ah! Okay! Whew. Oh, man. I uh, took a moment, was quiet, just didn't care. And, uh, wow. Need a leg to stand on? Perhaps you also need a hand. Ha ha ha, you can't drive buses like that. I know for a fact there are beds here. I almost said buses again. DB Tech stands for Drivable Buses Technology High School. Perfect sense. Now, if we're going to do the Drivable Buses Technology High School, that's not bad, but we're still not that close. So I consider it a good idea to continue moving forward. What would be really cool is if that red rocket happened to have a bed in it. Or let us save in the bathroom. Maybe we could go down here, though. Oh, yes. The Bugs of Goop. Hello, Bugs of Goop. Slightly getting irradiated. Now, is there a legendary... Anywhere nearby? Doesn't seem to be the case. All right, we're gonna pop a rad X if we're gonna get any closer to this, because I have plenty of water, but I don't want to be losing my health right now. Yeah! Suck at radiation, you mean nothing to me. Okay, maybe a little bit right now, but... Uh, man, this reminds me of Fallout uh, New Vegas a lot. They had a lot of broken down highway stuff, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of that in Boston. Hello, blood bug. Come over here. I want you to make a boom bug. Boom bug, boom bug, boom bug, boom bug. Ah, uh, yes. Pretty clearly the case that, uh, well, no legendary person here today. Little bummer. We don't have our penetrating minigun this time, but it was a penetrating minigun. As cool as it was, it wasn't necessarily the biggest thing ever. Now, is silly person still being silly? Are you, yep, you are. I'll take some stingwing meat. Still Ain't gonna hang out right here. Taken. You cool with me taking that? T cool with me taking that? Huh. I just stole everything from the poor woman. Alright, have a good time sitting in your radiation weird. Weird? Yeah, radiation world, that's weird. I like that. Come on. I just heard an explosion off in the distance. Oh, probably from there. Probably another nuke mine going off. You know, sometimes buses have beds in them. So this could be a possible spot for a save. So now we're in a position where it's like, okay, dropping that save makes sense. We could also still hit the drug lab. It's just off east. Uh, it's popping up at the map as something totally doable. I don't know. I like the idea of going back and trying to help Kent slash kill everybody in that hospital. Because they're mean. They're mean and terrible people. Honestly, this keeps feeling like there's going to be a bed showing up pretty soon. I mean, now we have a military checkpoint. Oh, hey. Nice. Anybody? Who's there? Gunner conscript. Wait, did I kill a legendary gunner? For some reason, I thought it was a raider. All right, yeah, I'm here. Wee! I'm gonna do luckies. I think that'll be a good choice. And look at all these bloodied. Does more damage the lower your health is. Well, that's kind of fun. I mean, it's not good, but it's definitely fun. Entertainment value. Enemies are nearby, but this is the perfect place to. Ooh, a fat man. This is the perfect place to chill out and blamco. There's a lot of good stuff in here. 
but to get that save when the save is allowed. This is a great spot. Good map position. Yeah, okay. Huh? One seven gnarly charter blah blah blah. Holy crap. Oh. I'm disappointed in myself. In this country. Oh damn. Uh, have you died repeatedly from the same stupid situation? Well, if you have, it's a perfect time for Deezer's Lemonade! It's kind of fun making loud shouting noises and like unhappy annoyances, but that was I switched to a gun I thought would be just saving ammunition, but it wasn't saving ammunition, it was just a wrong move. So I've kind of learned a lesson, and I think that lesson will basically be hit all the places with beds. Just incrementally move ourselves forward. It's even just getting through all those loading zones from getting out of Good Neighbor, saving the Addictol, fixing that. I mean, even debatably sleeping in here. But I don't know, it's just... Not 100% sure that that is exactly what I'm looking for and think I need to do. In combat zone would be fun. The biggest problem I have with it is that we have to do this save load thing that allows I have to load up that world and then come back out into the main bigger world. And the main bigger world is the one where there's a lot of extra stuff that just takes longer to do. Lock and load. God damn it! Not your lucky day. Seriously, I wouldn't have even noticed you if you had just left me alone. You would both be alive right now. Whew. Whew. Well, I've never been in the Mass Bay Medical Center. Honestly, if I had just died here, though, I think I would have just started doing that save, like, at every single opportunity I had the chance. Just, of course. I am stuck on a, on a bush. Okay. Oh, more Mass Bay. Great. Seven missiles. Not what I wanted. There you go. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Missile for you. That's a weird joke. I'm okay with it, though. Hello, you're dead. Oh, that's interesting. They uh, they were trying to operate on this individual. Who's gonna target? Sounds like I'm being followed. Alright. Oh, that car is probably gonna explode, isn't it? I don't know if I get on this side. I'm... Where the hell did this person even come from? Is this car gonna blow up? It might. Let's just hang out here until it does. Yep, I saw it do the little thingy. There you go. Got some radiation from that, but that's fine. So originally I was planning to go to the Jamaica town and have that be the place where I dropped the save. Uh, but we had the gunner spot, which was pretty good, but I just in- Oh, I know this robotic spot. Something else explode? Music sounds kind of scary, and I'm into- Ooh! Ooh. I think this thing died about half of- after half the shots I put into it. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should go into Hester's thing. I forgot what's in Hester's thing. Let's see, we're kind of taking an off-the-track path. I think it's okay. Um, ooh, that one actually hurt a little bit. I don't know what this emergency Argen 1 blah 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 signal is. Oh, we got some shooting going on. Mutant hounds, super mutant forces, just let them have fun. I'm hearing like growling and I'm hidden, but I keep hearing something. Oh my gosh, it's these dogs. This is a really interesting, this guy has a bunch of dogs, but they seem to be, oh, oh, uh oh. Well, the dogs and the dude are very unhappy about me just existing here. Shug is a powerful dog. I'm gonna switch to the luckies. I'm slightly on fire. Ruby is powerful. Holy crap. Ruby, down girl. Good girl, stay down. Up. Didn't hit him. Oh. 
Dando said, I. Dando, I. I'll try to speak his language. I. So this guy loves his dogs, and it's actually kind of a cute environment. And I thought maybe that this would be another person you can, like, buy dogs from. But uh, instead, he just attacks you and is dressed as a pastor. Huh. And we should have a bed here. Oh, we've got, oh, this sweet patio chair, though. Another crazy pastor who does the unthinkable sleeps on couches. <gasps> I mean, technically, it's somewhat unthinkable because he can't save every time. That means when he's dead, he's dead forever. So that just kind of sucks for the guy. Shug, I'll take your meat. I'll take your stuff, whoever you... Ruby, Rudy, Rudy, Ruby. Ah, eh, whatever. Time to eat his dogs. No. Man, this gun is just the best gun that we have. So much ammunitions available for it. It's so powerful. It totally fits perfectly with every part of our characters. Level up, commando, demolition. It's just... It, in that final fact, like, it's easy to find ammunition. Super mutant. Excuse me, sir. I'm just looking to sleep. 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 Not shoot me in the face. Stop shootings. And we're actually losing a lot of health right now, too, while we're doing this. I missed that one. I'm glad his leg went for a flip flip. This is a cute little house. Huh. I like it. It's like what? Maybe like 400 square feet? Oh, it's got a little dog house. That's cute too. But then it also has the like second store. Second store. Second floor. Probably with the storage on the top. I like that. That's kind of cute. Ooh, back alley bowling's this way. Hey, here's the gunner spot again. All right. So we're going to be able to hit. I was very confused. Let's uh, drop in on this guy sleeping again. Might not be there sleeping this time though. Nope. Oh, this time it's just a regular gunner. Huh? Hello? Could the legendary gunners come back, please? Hmm. Let's just give him a bit of a wide berth, see if we can surprise him. No one's in here. Got a, ooh, a working computer. And a dead woman with a bunch of chairs. That's unfortunate. Part of me wants to imagine that she got in a terrible WWE accident. Current orders, Department of the Army, all vehicles traveling, full stop, waiting period, may leave, upon the text of the contraband, log entries, Jones, Jones, Woo family, okay, something in Kennedy, Donald, I'm just sort of doing this quickly, just as, uh, I'm kind of curious with, um, okay, so apparently everybody's cleared without incident except for the Woo family. This was resulting in full inspection, including dismantling the vehicle, despite the contraband and a full apology from the inspection lead. Acting aggressively, including yelling at the soldiers in a foreign language. Most likely Chinese. Woo! It was contacted. Wow. So it's basically they were being super racist against the Chinese family. I mean, we were at war with China at the time. So it's like, understandably why people would be racist. But that doesn't mean it's okay to be. It's like, oh yeah, I understand why you're being stupid. But it's bad to be stupid. Alright, we're still in danger. It did pretty well, though. Oh, I see someone else in there. I love the fact that I just kind of, like, shoot in their general direction. It's like a fart that's an insult. I don't know what that movie, uh, or what movie that was, but it's like, I fought in your general direction. But that's, uh, what I was referring to. And there's our save! Finally. We have a legitimate save position here. I'm hearing someone talking about this being a safe house, but it's pretty empty. Also, there's a lot of body parts in here, and I just feel it's very dirty. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Ooh, emergency more beds. Ooh, check it. Guns and bullets. Ooh, 5% critical damage increase. Oh, hey, it's actually a military guy who died. So this was a safety spot. Ooh, they got... Oh, my God. Wait, is that just T-Armor? Oh, yeah, it's just T-Armor. I thought that was uh, the X-01 whatevers. All oh, right, what a good spot to have a save drop. That's nice. Okay, I feel a lot better about that. I mean, super disappointing how it's been before. Oh, hey, Bear. 
Stupid bear. Being stunted stupid. I have that song stuck in my head. Oh my god, bear! Had that song stuck in my head for a good portion of the day. And I keep singing it. It's a good song. Apparently, uh, uh, not nearly as deep as I thought it might have possibly been. Literally, it's just about a guy walking around, going back to his apartment, and smelling the fact that his buddy and his girl were, uh, had sex, and then were eating candy after the fact. That's okay, though. I mean, all the power to them for having a good time. Just, uh, for some reason, I thought there would be something deeper in it. Maybe it was deeper in her. Ah, that was a bad joke. Uh, you know, I like- I don't make a lot of sexy jokes on this channel. I, uh, I just- I, like, I make stupid jokes for sure, but I don't think I make a lot of jokes in that regard. I'm trying to think if there's any particular reason why. I think part of it, if I could, like, bare my soul a little bit, would be related to the fact that I find a lot of those jokes, not necessarily so much as immature, but, like, like, if they're really one-sided. Um, sometimes- Uh-oh, raiders. Sometimes it's kind of like, it feels like they're always from the men's man's point of view kind of thing, but that may not be entirely true. You know what? I'm okay with that joke. What not? Maybe it is okay. Oh, hey -o. Glad I backed up so I didn't hurt myself with my gun. Which I love that idea of that guy being like, aha, I will stop him. And it's like, you, uh, you want to get as close as possible you can to me. You'll still die, but I'm just more likely to die with you. Wait, think I'm tough? Where are you? I can't move very quickly. There you are. I can shoot around corners. Alright, so now we're showing up to the hospital looking good. Alright, so where's our save that we dropped? Right there. Okay, that's significantly better than what we had to do before. Um, let's get rid of these guys real quick. Oh! Then the car got him. Uh oh, I got shot by something. Oh, this skirmisher managed to escape all the explosions. Well, not escape that. Not escape my personal explosions. All right, you guys just have fun. I actually don't really need anything that I bet any of you were carrying. None of you were legendaries or anything. Or... I did not realize though, I could knock the light ball things off. Light ball? Signals? Signals off? Nuclear material. I hear more beeping. Gonna be, a good fight. Gonna be a good fight, Fallons. I'm glad I was paying attention to that. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, fire is coming from this direction. Alright, another grenade. This should be useful. Still in danger, but we did take somebody out with it. Hello? I'm not here for you, okay? Seriously, I, I came here for another group of people. A bunch of people who have really low ceilings and I hate them for it. It's not, it's just the architecture just makes you feel like you're, it's a lot smaller of a location, you know? It's just, it's, it's almost depressing sometimes. I actually, oh my gosh, this was a really interesting thing. So I learned the other day that apparently in China, the Walmart ceilings are lower. So for Walmart specifically, I don't know if it will apply everywhere else. And, um, no, I don't want <laughs> I remember that this was here. Now I can disengage it. And uh, let's let's go to the arm and a leg real quick. What the fuck was that? Oh, I don't know. Yes. Ah! Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, it's a revolver pistol this time rather than a snub nose. Oh, and I like how it's sideways. That's cool. Anyway, that the idea was that they have uh, lower ceilings. And I thought that was really interesting because they were talking about potentially it was like just in China, you're more used to feeling cramped. In the United States, it makes people like... Uh, and what, it mean, what they mean by that is your personal space is smaller. And it's really interesting is research has shown that people who live in city environments have much smaller social spaces or bubbles that they expect. And if you live in more rural environments, you have much larger ones. So something that would seem weird to me, for example, would be having a conversation with somebody who is, you know, Who's there? five or six feet of, like away from me. I expect to be around like the three to five foot distance. Uh, no, not even five feet, might be like the, like the two to, oh no! Oh, that happened last time, too. Somebody just walked into it. So like the, the two to four feet, maybe, I think would be an okay one. 
And uh, also, I'm relatively comfortable with people who get really close, like in the one foot area. Mm -hmm. But it, that was something that I had to learn to be comfortable with, where people would just get that close. And part of me would be like, hey, I really want to back up. But I find like I'll just like turn my shoulders a little bit, and that would help. Ooh, more fashionable glasses. <gasps> That's right. We get to hang out with silly talking dude. Oh, man. You know who I'm talking about? Nurse Handy. Oh, baby, Nurse Handy. Let's do this. Bing. Bing. Going down. Is it actually down? Oh, it is actually down. Okay. Basement. Oh, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Still an advanced lock. Bummer. Did you take two people with you this time? You took two people with yourself this time. I gotta say, you are truly making this easier on me. Thank you. Hello, Raiders. I'm here for the nurse. Just the nurse. Also, to avoid hitting the roof with my explosions. Hold on, wait, what if, oh my goodness, I bet we could do it. Not yet, though. This isn't the door that I want to be redeemed through. Time to kill me. We have a specific door I want to be redeemed through. I just blew her shin off. Man, this gun is painful to watch. I mean, it's just like, imagine, you know, like, pieces of lead slamming into the shin of your, like, your bones, shattering them, splitting things apart, separating things, dropping ligaments, muscles, tissues, terrible gross things. But these ones also add fire and explosion. There is just no happiness from this gun. This is a violent world. You know, it's something that I think is kind of fascinating because it's like, we've talked about this on the channel, how weird it is that, you know, we can comfortably play a game where I am blowing shins off of people. But uh, I even make a, a moment where I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to make that joke about sex, you know, because it's like, it's that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, people shouldn't be dying. Shouldn't be considered less weird than having like boning. With that said, I'm not going to just keep making penis jokes at the moment. But uh, I think that I should. It's definitely something that is important to be reminded that this is worse than boning. <laughs> significantly so oh man we keep going over the weight limit i wonder what I, i'm just carrying too much healing items i think also i'm carrying a lot of junk that i don't really know when i'm gonna really put it away and some of these are super heavy i definitely don't need oh i thought that was point or one weight but yeah i don't think i really need that much steel right now i think i can comfortably put that down you know this looks a lot smaller than what i actually had oh my god this is the door this is it all right, so I made the comment about not killing myself with explodey stuff. I think that's a smart move. Smart choice. Putting out the luckies. Who's getting vatsed? You are getting vatsed, and you are getting vatsed. All right? Simplistic. Sneak damage. Really doing a little extra. That's awesome. Perfect. Walk through the door. We're not safe. But we are a lot safer. Even if we were to die, we have a lot better spot than where we were previously. Yes, jumping at shadows. Oh, look at all the beds. All the beds that were just right next door to where we were. Hey. Oh, hi! He, like, shattered into ash? And his head fell off. That's joyful. Real joyful. Hey, come back. I see your knee. I see your knee. I see your knee. Oh, please. Okay, you know what? I have a gun that's designed just for corners. Perfect. Still in danger. Yes. Yes. Oh, we have dropped ourselves a save in the building. It just feels so good. All right, let's just continue to clear this place out. Now with very little fear. Wonderful lack of fear. Nice. Sweater vest and slacks. I almost said snacks. Delicious. Got that guy up off his feet. Sequin dress. Not exactly what I want. 
couple more spots. We might even drop another save in a second. Summer shorts. Wait. Oh, okay, it is a full body thing. I was like, can I like wear that underneath stuff? Because that could be really cool for a little charisma boost. Wait, is that a hacksaw in the yes, it is a hacksaw in the ice cooler. Don't know why it's in the ice cooler. Perhaps it's just, just just for ice. Nothing else scary or frightening. Just ice, okay? It's a safe thing. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick uh sleeping with the bone, dude. Enemy nearby, apparently. I'll take the buff out. And we have a biometric Ooh, Medex and Psycho. So I bet there is a shooty thing right above my head, which would explain why getting over here, I could save. And I could save again. There you go. All right, so they were shooting at us through here, so I'm assuming this is the correct direction to go. It is totally new. And there's... Ta-da! Okay, so we got Commando figured out. All right, we don't have to worry about Lone Wanderer. Demolition perk is also, oh yeah, long time. Scrapper 2 is available. Gun Nut 2 would be really useful by putting on that recon scope for us. Science we're pretty good with. Moving target, no, nah, no worries. We can keep pushing down here to eventually get to strong back. And of course, pickpocket. We have to at least get to... I, I really like the idea of getting all the way to 30. That's actually kind of fun of an idea. This isn't a, a perk that's necessarily going to be useful at the moment. I mean, because I was looking at it, it's just like... It'll be fun to steal shit. But there are perks that will help us with guns and things pretty quickly. Let's hold on to it for now. There's no reason to rush. None of the perks that we're going to be taking are going to have a benefit immediately. So, I'm comfortable with doing this decision. Oh my god, so many saves now. Sea Captain's hat. Endurance too. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do it all. So there's a lot of uh, items that people ha seem to have here. Like uh, their own personal things. Was this... Like, but there's not as many skeletons as I'd expect. Unless they were ghouls that then got killed and cleaned out by these people. I can see that. Because typically you see ghouls or you see skeletons. But not seeing either is, uh, is problematic. Okay, what silver... Sh <laughs> silver shroud time is what I was gonna say, but apparently not. Hello, you are deads. Oh, did I kill someone behind you? Oh, that's funny. I'm holding on to this. This looks like a great gun to have right now. Can use it to our other uh, plasma pistol. Man, a lot, a lot of Nuka stuff. Pretty good in that regard. Aw, Tay Bear. All right, more elevator action happening now. Going up. Ooh, ooh. Is this an up or a down? Oh, I think that was a stupid question, because if we went up, we would have hit the ceiling. Oh. Hi. Hmm. All right, so I have a two-part way that I want to do this. I want to have the conversation. But then we're going to reload the save, and I'll come right back here, and you'll see why. I'm going to say it again. Hold, assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Ken's head. Speak of Shroud. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are Craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know, you're human, and you're weak. You came here, and for what? You little sidekick? Uh, intimidate as Shroud. I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, oh. man. She's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then? I'm going to good neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. Why? No one screws with Sinjin. Kill me first, scare Sinjin's men, spare threaten his shroud. I am the instrument of justice <laughs> and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer, and I am its shroud. Stop talking like that. It is the shroud. It really is. Screw this. Cowards. Cowards. Whoa. All right, um, okay, so this is really interesting. 
Um, I had the uh, expectation that. Are you just scared of me now? That would be me. Why are you holding your side as if I had to hurt you? I haven't hurt you. I mean, not yet, anyway. Alright, so that actually surprised me a little bit. I had the expectation that um, they uh, would all... Live. Oh, no problem. Oh, live! Oh, that was... Sorry. That was totally my mistake. Anyway, where's the last one? Hey, do you have anything interesting to say? The shroud's real. Real, I tell you. Yep. So I totally had the expectation that um, I would have to have fought everyone. And that wouldn't have worked as a way to intimidate them. But it totally did. Anyway, let me show you what I was going to do. So anyway, there's some pretty interesting dialogue if you do this. Which is if you show Kent that you were never really on his team. Um. Huh. Well, that's actually a little weird because they're supposed to do basically the thing that happened uh, just a second ago. But with, um, you know, where they said like, oh my god, it is the Shroud. But they're supposed to react that way. You know, maybe it's possible that this just fires too many rounds for this to work. Um, that is actually would be a really interesting problem. So we're going to try one more time with this. There you go. He's crazier than Sinjin. What the? Can you block? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Man, this game is being weird. All right, hold on. Let me just kill this one. Okay, what did I say about killing this one? Let me just do it. Garge. There we go. Now we can intimidate a shroud. Do is pull the trigger. Wait, did we just break the game? Here we go, intimidate the shroud. Let's turn against your master now, ne'er do wells. I, uh, I, I killed them. rightful vengeance. What? Let's run. You're, you're going down. Now, well, now you go at it, all right. <laughs> anyway, now I want to show you the way that our character actually really would do it, as her what story would be. Oh, sweet. We got up here, finally. Burn! Everybody burns! Burns everybody! Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> but it was a personal thing because I burnt myself to death, so I wanted to try to let everybody else do it. Alright, enough playing around. I love how every time I go through this, I shoot just her, but the grenades out of this gun are enough to kill him, too. It's just wonderful. I'm sure you do. Uh, pow. Pow. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna do it my way. You know, it turns out that the Intimidated Shroud option truly is the best option. And it probably has the most likely chance to save Kent. Scrolls with you. I am the right, here we go. of justice. Talk. And then everybody really gets is. all scared. Screw this. And then we get to critical his face. Does that stop him? Does Kent still got. Well, Kent has a, like a knife in his back. Oh, I still hit Kent. And so did he. I will right, try to. So since this is turning out to be surprisingly difficult, this is what I wanted to do. You killed him. Jesus. Pound her to death. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to save Kent. Have him be like, you really are the Silver Shroud. And then basically turn him into mincemeat. Kent just detonates. That worked out really well. Now, I think that'll be just fine as how our character actually does it. It's a little bit of a bummer I couldn't 
have our character just stare down into Kent's eyes and just be like, I was never your shroud. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, that is so dark. <laughs> you know, that's how our character is, though. We designed her to, uh, be kind of crazy evil. And it's been kind of tough, interestingly, being able to take out, uh, this guy without accidentally hitting Kent, too, because our weapons are just that inaccurate. Well, Kent, buddy, oh, pal, I, uh, I have seemed to truly leave yourself with not really much to go on. I don't know where your head is or any of your legs, but, uh, you know what mattered was your heart. And that is totally intact. Surprisingly well-built heart. So it seems that you can't demolish, uh, corpses after they've already fallen apart. Oh, he had a melon. Well, that's a little disappointing we don't have the ability to let Kent know that it was all for naught and I was just doing it along just because it was fun to play with him. <sighs> oh well. We silver shrouded it up and we did it very well. Sometimes though things don't get to go your exact way. Even though you've killed and died repeatedly in order to try to make it so. I'd say there's a lesson somewhere in there but adding in killed and died along your way there typically isn't the kind of lesson I think I should be teaching anyone. <laughs> All right then dudes, I think I'm gonna end it here as we drop that final save. So thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to have you. It's a little interesting having that final killing bit with uh, Kent and the like, eh? I mean, we have this moment where he is, you know, like, don't do it, Shroud. And then we come and the whole joke was that we were going to kill everybody, have Kent all excited, then take Kent out just so he would know. And I like the, uh, like that really fits with our character being like just all dreams die kind of behavior. And so I liked it. And it was kind of, but it was, you know, a bummer that all our weapons are designed for maximum destruction of everyone. So it doesn't always work out that well. Anyway, dudes, uh, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, when the ground rises, meet your feet. The wind always be at your back and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye.